Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, I'm looking at my old Craftsman crappy miter saw held together with epoxy. <laughs> this, uh, this thing's pretty much a piece of junk and my main complaint with it is not the handle breaking off because that's an easy fix. The epoxy's been holding up for a number of years. The bigger issue is, or was, the fence. It was never perfectly straight. So uh, basically we have one side with a flat, a U, and then another side. And uh, from the factory, it, it came bent by about two degrees. Let, let's go over and take a look at it. All right, hopefully you guys can see this pretty well, but this is uh, the broken <laughs> fence. I was trying to hammer it into submission, make it a little more straight. But you can see, having these on a nice flat rule, they don't quite line up correct. And that is because it was off by a couple degrees, so, or maybe a degree. You can see that is where it naturally wants to sit with that kind of nice gap. I mean, uh, Chinese tools, you know. So the the big issue was anytime I was, uh, you know, building furniture for the wife or framing something out, my cuts were never perfectly square if I didn't use the same reference side every time. And that's not very convenient when you're doing uh, trim or that sort of thing. You, you gotta switch sides. And this always presented a pain in the ass. A lot more caulk than I would like to be using on projects. So, now that I broke it, <laughs> trying to flex it into place, what I'm hoping to do, originally, I, I was kind of considering the redneck approach of JB Weld, which probably would work, but uh, probably not for super long. What I am opting to try are these uh, aluminum brazing rods. The, these ones particularly are from Blue Demon. I've used their TIG wire in the past and it's worked pretty well. And I don't currently have the electric supply set up for my TIG. So I'm going to give this stuff a try since all you really need is a torch. So we'll see if it works. So I'm going to use this level as a square. Keep that nice and rigid and try to get this brazing rod to work. Now before doing this, I've already wire brushed it. And real quick, I'm gonna clean it up with acetone as well. Got some acetone. And again, I've already wire brushed all the mating surfaces to make sure everywhere gets good adhesion. Apparently with this stuff, uh, prep is key. I've never used this before, so I have no idea how it's going to work or if it's going to contract too much and further screw this once unusable fence into a more unusable fence, but it's worth a shot. Otherwise, I just need to get a new freaking miter saw that's not such a piece of shit. So, that's how I'm going to set it up. This is going to be my sacrificial block of wood. <laughs> and let's see if I can get it to work. Alright, so my big hope is that I can keep this relatively resolute. It's not perfectly square in the vertical, the z-axis either, so that's a bit of a pain in the ass, but having it lined up to be square will at least be better than it was. So, let's try one of these rods. Gonna wipe the rod off as well. Treating it like TIG. Acetone everything. And move the flammables out of the way. Let me make sure that acetone doesn't have any uh, anything in there. It's got benzoate, denatonium benzoate, the uh, bittering agent, so you don't huff this stuff. Uh, might. I'm going to switch to the cum gutter. This doesn't have any of the uh, bittering agents in it, which will leave residue. 
I think that's probably a better move. It's also a much stronger degreaser. All right, come got her to the rescue. And let's light this wood on fire. Oops. Come on. Yeah, see, second I touched it, it moved. That's not what I want. I should fixture this. Oh, we're getting a little flow. Got a little zinc explosion there, you see that? Alright, I'm going to leave it at that and uh, try to extinguish that fire. Where's the squirt bottle? Not optimal, but that'll do. Now, I don't know how strong this joint's actually going to be, but uh... It shouldn't really incur a whole lot of force on the actual saw because it's mounted on a nice, <laughs> reasonably flat surface. Again, it's Craftsman, so uh, take that word with a grain of salt or cyanide, depending on what you prefer. Let's see if we got to the back at all. I'm not sure if this stuff flows or if it, it does not, apparently. All right, you can see... We unfortunately still have a nice little gap on the ass of it there. So maybe I'll just hit it again real quick. Try to fill that in. Oh, that was brine. Huh. Well, that's why it's so orange. That's fun. Try to get that sucker disconnected. And that one too. Come on. Go out. Little shit. Now I'm gonna go set an exhaust fan up. My house is gonna reek. Alright. Now mind you, I probably should have read the instructions to make sure that's actually how I do it. But I remember looking into these quite some time ago, and I think that was the relative way. What is my fucking fan doing back there? If that works, I'll be a happy camper. If it doesn't, I'm getting a new saw. I'll still be a happy camper. Looks to have joined, so that's a plus. Give that a little while to cool down. Get back to you. All right, 15 minutes later. Still a bit of warmth, doesn't seem to be perfectly flat, so we might have a little little bit of contraction there in the, uh, the weld. It's definitely way truer than it was before though, so that's a plus. Now is it strong? I mean this isn't going to be taking a lot of force. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that worked like shit. Damn it. I was banking on this. I need to do this framing. I mean, of course, I can just screw one on and get that trued up and cut from there, but what a pain in the ass. Yeah, I don't know about these uh, brazing rods. Maybe I'm not doing it right, but... Man, I wish I could take this fucking thing. Maybe I'll give it another shot. 
maybe I'll try it on some drywall this time so I'm not catching wood on fire and throwing off the dimensional accuracy. Give it one more go. Got a piece of drywall here which should be a little more, maybe less dangerous to have open flame on in your basement. I, I don't know. Either way, I'm probably being an idiot here. Before I actually start it, I'm going to spray this down with a little DI water just to keep the drywall from catching fire. Well, not the drywall itself, that's inert, but it's the, uh, the paper. Try to keep smoldering to a minimum. Give this a quick spray down again and some cum gutter. And let's try to get a better joint this time. Come on. Swear to God. Can anything work today? Fuck you! Hey, there we go. Uh, nothing quite like the overwhelming stench of a house fire. Really trying to push the rod in this time. Looks to have actually gotten a little penetration this time, so looks like it did some alloying with the aluminum. Maybe we, uh, maybe we hopefully got it that time. Everything still looks reasonably square. Way more square than they can get at the Craftsman factory. Let that cool again, see if we can snap it. <laughs> looks like we at least got some better penetration down at the base there, not so much on the end. Look at how that bubbled. That's kind of interesting. It seems good enough for a saw fence actually. I mean this is, isn't really taking a lot of force, it's just got to be nice and parallel or uh, actually aligned. And I'm getting no play there so that's good. It didn't over contract. That's what I was worried about. I think this might get me operational again, and I can actually do some framing now. Look at that, beautifully in line. I uh, I really should have started filming before, but it kind of turned into a bigger project than uh, <laughs> was intended, as most things tend to do. Well, let's try getting it on the on the saw, see how it does. Don't mind the beer fridge behind her. All right, flat up against the fence. There doesn't really appear to be. tiny tiny little gap there so it's maybe not perfectly yeah, it still bumps a little bit so we might be off by half a degree on axial alignment there but it's way better than it was before check if we're square I think this side needs to pull out just a hair yeah, I mean, you can see it's got a little bit of gappage there. Not bad. I'll adjust the fence. Uh, that's about as good as she's ever been. So, uh, yeah, I'll consider this a semi-success. I'm back up in operation, at least for a little while. See how long it holds. So, stuff's definitely not perfect, but it did create a workable, uh, workable fix for this, so... That's at least good. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Have a great one.